Hello everyone, this is Pamper Chew. Today I moved some more stuff over from my parents' house. Uh, here I have what is the beginning of my vintage diaper collection. Um, when I first started buying them in high school, I would save every single uh, bag that they came in, along with three samples. Um, sometimes more if they had special cartoon characters on them. But for example, here's a Loves from the mid to early 2000s. And um, I knew back then um, it was hard to find vintage diapers at the time, so I should save them now for the future, which is today. Um, also, I love Omaha Steaks. These are Omaha Steak boxes, if anybody's wondering. They deliver uh, steaks and dry ice and works pretty well. So, my first first part of the collection is actually probably that box, and then I went on to this box, and then this box here is specifically for plastic diapers. Um, I try to separate them by era or type, but um, I can start over here, I guess. When I first started buying diapers when I was in high school, so that would have been 2002 to 2006. Um, that's right when they went from plastic back diapers to cloth back diapers for the main three companies that's Pampers, Huggies and Loves and so I was very unlucky to not be able to get any plastic diapers but over time I found some um, I, uh, this, I think I can tell everyone now I stole that from chemistry class they were gonna chop it up and use it for showing how polymers worked so I I stole it really quickly and I replaced it with a cloth back diaper <laughs> But, um, let's take a look at these. Here's a Love size 6 with Blue's Clues. And this was back when they had the big wide tapes. I, I kind of miss these now. I wish they... Those look so cute. The big wide tapes. And then they went to Blue's Clues with the, the thinner tapes. Um, there's my Love's. Here, I found this bag of Loves. This is not plastic, but these are the Barney ones. These are cloth back Barneys. I save one of each kind. There's the one where he's holding a joint. He's like, let's smoke up. And there's the one he's looking at the stars. And I also got lots of store brands. Of course, I was in high school. I didn't have all the money, so I, um, I'd spend it on what I could at the time. Here's a Safeway brand. Oh, it looks just like Cushies. Huh. I see where Cushies got their idea from. What do we got down here? This is pull-ups. Cool alert. I think. No, learning designs. So this one they fade when you wet. Um, is it cars? I think it's cars. Yeah, there's that car guy from the movie. And uh, next layer. What do we got over here? These are size ones. Must have found them at a thrift store or something, because I wouldn't normally buy size one. There's another bag of Loves from 2003 or 2004. This one, Happy Angel. They had little bunnies on them. I think, oh yeah, this has plastic landers, but it is a cloth back diaper. Really cute. Down here, we got... Bonton, which is basically the same Buddy, Buddy Lander, but a different cloth back sheet, a different picture. So that's something I found at a thrift store. Seafood or sea uh, sea life. <laughs> Seafood, I guess, if you like to eat them. <clears throat> uh, here's more Bunny ones. There's a Bunny Lander. This is a plain white back sheet. This is called Angel Baby Ultra. So the similar bunny landers. And 
here we got Huggies Convertible, size 5, with Tigger and Pooh. Oh, cool. These are cute. I forgot how. These are, yeah, 2003, I think, 2002. But they're really cute. This one here, I think, is the last year they had the Nick Jr. Baby logo, 2004. Um, and those loves I just showed you, I think, were 2003, and this one from 2001. Um, and they were, at the time, they were changing quite a bit through the different types of uh, machinery, I think, is what it was. How Pampers um, uses their machines for a few years, and then loves is the same brand as Pampers, but it's the old machinery. So if you notice, uh, over the years, Pampers was always like four years ahead of Love's, or the opposite, Love's was always four years behind Pampers in design. And here's another example of uh, the cute graphics that they would put on the packaging at the time. Like it's full color, a family having fun at the park. <clears throat> in this box, I had the uh, cloth back covers and the cloth plastic hybrids, which were plastic landers and a cloth backing. Um, now, I just unrolled all these bags, they were stuffed in there. I would usually save three uh, diapers in each bag, but um, to me, sometimes the bag is more important than the diapers itself. It just um, it brings back a lot of memories. The design, um, consumer design, and um, just marketing, how they did it at the time. This is early 2000s here. Remember when Pampers Baby Dry was cute? I don't like them so much anymore. They made the landers a lot smaller. It seems like all the brands are going downhill right now. Um, Loves is no longer doing the Blue's Clues. They now have a generic monkey for the size sixes. Over here, the Aloft training pants. What do we got in there? What are these ones? These ones have, oh yeah, the weird looking uh, it's a cartoon, I can't remember his name, but that's what that one is. Or here's the uh, early Huggy Supreme from 2003. Um, had Winnie the Pooh on them. They're full colored. Now they don't seem to do that. Um, some of you people that wore Good Nights in the early 2000s, you might remember how they were white at first, and then they went to the first design. This was the first design here, was the ATVs and the BMX bikes. Some of you might remember those. <laughs> Does that bring any memories back? 2003, 2004. And over here is the BMX one, or the whatever they're called, ATVs, motorcycles. Over here is... Um, when I got in California, I think, I went down to California, it has, it has Clifford the Big Red Dog. And here's the girls' good nights. They um, first came out with this weird printy pattern, or this girly pattern, I guess. Here's a neat one. This is a hybrid diaper where the lander's plastic. It had sort of this um, lions and horses and stuff. Uh, this one here is a misprint. I always like to save misprints. And there's the new, the new style. See how the landers are much smaller. Over here, some early um, cloth type Pampers, 1999, I think, is the date on those. 2000. Yeah, 2000. I saved lots of those. Oh, this was like one of the first bags of diapers I ever bought when I was in uh, ninth grade, I think. I was a freshman in high school. I remember trying to make those fit. <laughs> what did I miss? Here's a, especially for baby. Must be that some sort of store brand. Oh, here's some of the old Huggies. And that's the Supreme, Huggy Supreme, and then they had Huggies Baby Shape with uh, Mickey Mouse. The date on that says 2004. There's a white cloud. But um, this box is probably going to be everyone's favorite. This is the plastic box. Let's open that up now. 
Before I put this away, I wanted to show the back of the Koala Fit grip bag back when Pampers was doing the Koala tabs. And uh, I think they got rid of him pretty quickly, but I remember it was to show how stretchy they were. With the last box, over here I have uh, just some miscellaneous um, stuff that I've probably gotten at thrift stores and yard sales over the years. Um, here's uh, another bag of pull-ups. This is the first, first release of Cool Alert. The ones that got cold when they got wet. And they work with some sort of a sweetener that gets cold when it's uh, exposed to moisture. Here's the one that I got from chemistry class. It was, um, I don't know what brand it is. I think it might even be a doll diaper. But it's plastic. It's, it reminds me of early 90s, maybe late 80s. It's just a cute diaper. I had to have it. Um, this is the very first AB Universe uh, diaper that came out. They were kind of a sketchy company at the time. I don't know if everyone remembers when they first came out, but they didn't deliver. They took people's money, and they were just not a good company at first. So these are kind of a rare diaper. I have, I think, about 10 left. I'm going to save them. They're kind of neat. Um, oh, with, with these plastic diapers that I've saved, this is not all of them. This is just part of my collection. But when I first started saving them, they were so important to me that I would keep all of them. I wouldn't use them at all because they were so rare at the time. Um, to me, they were rare. And over the years, I've found more. So I've, these are just ones that I saved when I was still in high school. Um, here's a bag of Western... Uh, Western Family Basic Style, extra large, and they had a really cute bear on them, baby bear with honey pot, and a sippy cup full of honey. I thought those were super cute, and uh, I also got some farm animal diapers, I also got some Disney looking ones that has like Bambi or whatever on it. Here's one of the first cloth like pampers. One of my original videos on this YouTube channel was of this diaper, actually. If you go way back in my videos, you'll see a video on this one. And this came out in late 90s, I think. Yeah, 1998. Um, I also found a couple of companies that started selling plastic diapers. These ones here are these ones here. So I have a few bags of those. And... Um, Right here's a Costco sampler. There's another sampler that has cows. I've never seen a cow diaper, but these are like nice, really nice thick diapers. Like uh, some of the best ever made. This plastic is really high grade, really thick. The cows, I don't really like the cows, but they're just a really nice high grade diaper. 1988, that bag there. Um, here's another store brand. Looks like more of the teddy bears. Here's some Chinese Huggies. The Chinese Huggies are a little weird. I don't know why, but uh, they do some weird stuff to their diapers. They're cut totally different. Like the sides aren't even that wide. There's like, let's make the thinnest piece of plastic that we can wrap around our baby and make it look so ugly. But uh, Chinese diapers, they do that for some reason. I don't know. It must be their, what their uh, market demands. Where our market demands more of a full covered diaper. And it used to back in the 80s. It, it was a thick, high-grade piece of clothing. And now they're just, well, they're turning into stuff like this. Just garbage. I mean, that's where it all ends up anyway, but I, I would like to have something comfortable like these high grade ones back when they were actually had foam in them to be comfortable well that one doesn't have foam but some of them did like this one here this one had foam around the edge a little piece of foam there just to add an extra comfort well there you go there's my high school collection um, after high school when I started working I had more money and I could buy the vintage diapers but by the time I had money to buy vintage diapers, the price was through the roof. And you're spending $300 a bag for vintage loves, and now it's even five, $600 a bag. So um, <clears throat> anybody looking to start collecting vintage diapers, um, if you're still in your teens and you're in your high school, just do it how I did. Whenever you buy a bag from the store, save the bag, save a few samples of the diaper, and store it somewhere. 
It might not be worth anything now, but in 10 years, they'll be interesting. And in 20 years, they might be worth something. Um, I have diapers that are valued at $20, $30 a piece, just from the 80s. And uh, you never know what people are going to want in the future. So start collecting and um, save what you like. And in the future, you will be happy that you have some. Or you can just get a lot of money and buy them on eBay. Either way, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.